How to create an alphabetical scroll list with Flutter so that the user can jump and navigate quickly to the items of the selected character. This feature is especially useful for huge lists in your Flutter app so that the user can quickly and comfortably drag through the list view. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's use the A to Z list view to create an alphabetical scrolling list. Let's get started with the build method and here we want to create then a new widget that we want to create together and inside of it we want to define the items property where we define then all of the items that are later displayed within our list view. Now let's go to this alphabet scroll widget. And here within the build method, we want to create then the AZ list view, which comes from this package. And here inside, we create then the data property where we put the items inside that we have before defined over this list of strings. And now we want to build here each of these items within our AZ list view. And therefore you set here the item count and item builder properties. And we go here now over each of our items with this index. And then we get here each individual item and we can simply build it then inside of a new method. And therefore I simply want to create here a list tile and inside of this text widget we put then our item inside. And with this we have here this normal list view and also here the sidebar of our alphabetical characters. And you can simply click here then on these characters and he will then simply jump to the right section of this character in our list view. Also make sure to go to your pubspec jumble file and here under your dependencies you need to include then this AZ list view package. And secondly you need to do an extra step by converting this list of strings to a new data type. So if I now go to this alphabetical scroll view then you see that these items are not working. And therefore we need to convert this list of strings to a new item. And this is what we want to do inside of the init state method. And here we create a new method in a list and here we put then our items inside which is then here this list of strings and we want to convert it now to our other data type. And therefore we map here over our items and we want to convert each of our items to a new data type az item and this is a class that we want to create here at the top and this takes then the title and the title is basically what we have put here inside so it's basically one specific country. And secondly, we also want to put here this tag inside and a tag is always describing what is later here displayed inside of the center. Lastly, you need to make this model class extendable from this suspension bean, which comes from this AZ list view package. And with this, you also need to override here this method and here you put then the tag inside. Let's also use this item now, therefore we go here back to our init list method and here we put then the title inside, whereas we put here simply the item inside that we got here from these items. And secondly, we also need to define then here inside the tag and the tag is basically also this item, only that we take here the first character and make it to uppercase letters. Let's also store then this new list here inside of our state and therefore we create here this list of AZ items. And these items are actually then going here inside of our AZ list view. And that's it, now your alphabetically scrolling list should also work. It is important to understand that the items that you put here inside needs to be sorted so you cannot do something like that you have here B and then you have again A, then you have Z for example, so this is not working. In case you have an unsorted list you can easily fix this, simply go here inside and here within the init list you can then call this method sort list and you simply put your items inside. So before I had here this unsorted list like you can see. And now after a hot restart, the list is sorted by the first character and you see that everything is again sorted. Next, we want to customize our alphabet scroll list. So we want to customize here these labels and also the headers that are always displayed on top of our items. Let's start with the label. So right now the label is always centered and it is also here displayed in black. To customize it, you can define here this index bar options and here inside you can then set first of all the alignment of this hint and I set it here right now to center right. And with this, if I scroll here now through, you see it is aligned to the center right location 
And if you want to have more control, then you can also set here this offset. And I set it here for the X coordinate to minus 20 so that it is going more to the left side. Let's try it again out and you see that the hint is moved more to the left side. Next, you can set the text style of the selected item and therefore I want to set it here to a bold text. And I also want to set the background of the selected item and I simply want to give it a blue background and I also make it then as a circle. And now you see we have here this blue background every time for our selected item. And finally, we also want to modify the style of this big hint here. Therefore, you have here the property index hint builder where you can then specify a widget for this hint that should here be displayed. And we simply put then the hint which we get from this callback inside of a text widget. And you can then define here simply the height and width of your widget. And I also give it here a blue color and make it as a circle. Let's also try it out and you see now we have changed here also the style of this hint label. You also can set here the spacing to the right side next to our sidebar. And therefore you have here this property index bar margin where you simply define then the margin and I put it here right now to all sides. And with this we have now here 10 pixels as space to the right side. Let's also add here these headers at the top so that the user already knows at which item he is currently. And if he changes, then also the headers are changing. To create this header, we simply go to our AZ list view and then to the item builder. And we simply go here to the build list item where we build then each of these items that are displayed here on the right side. And now on top of our item, we want to build our header. Therefore, we wrap it inside of a column and then we create a new method to build our header. And inside of this header, we want to put then the tag inside. And this is what we get then over this suspension tag that we have defined initially inside of our model class. And lastly, you can put this tag then inside of a widget and you can style it like you want to display it in between. Therefore, let's now create here this build header method. And here we get every time the tag, which is our text that we want to display. And now if I hot reload, you see that we have above each of our items then this tag displayed. And we simply want to have then only one tag for multiple items. Therefore, we want to access from our AZ item here, this is show suspension. And here we can then basically define if our header should be visible or not. And we can simply wrap it then inside of an offstage widget, which will then hide our widget in case it shouldn't be displayed. And to make this work, you also need to define then here this field. And therefore you go simply here up to our init list method. And here inside you can then call this set show suspension status. And you put here then all the items inside. And this is then basically setting our flag that we have defined before here at the bottom so that this flag is now working. And now after I hot restart, you see that we have here only the header once inside for each section of our characters. And finally, you can then customize this header like you want to have it. So in my case, I also give it some grayish background color. And now our header has here always this grayish background color. Next, we want to click on an item and perform some logic on it. Therefore, you set here this callback inside of your alphabetical scroll widget. And now we want to call this on clicked item method inside of our build list item. And therefore, we have here this list tile. And here we are basically calling then this on clicked item callback. And we simply put our item.title inside, which is basically one of these countries on which we have now clicked. And lastly, we can then go back to our main file and we can implement here what should happen if we click on our country. So in my case, I simply display then a snack bar with the text clicked item and I put then the item here inside. Let's also try it out. I click on an item and you see we show here then the snack bar. And in your case, you can basically put here then any functionality inside what should happen if you click on this item. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code of this application, then you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.